good evening mom good evening to gagan sai today is the 8th class mathematics chapter number 6th chapter square roots and cube roots today we will learn the exercise 6.3 all problems and solutions in telangana state book page number 141 a revision classes on our blackboard those are classes is finishing only today we will learn the in our notebook only be careful it is a better neatly first i read the problem in our textbook only i read it to find the square root of the following numbers by division method do you know the division method step wise with the examples it's over the topic is over in other book concept time for फाइव एस बी सेवन एंड दट टापिक इज आलो इट्स ओवर वित् एग्जापल एंड डिविजन मेथड वित् एग्जापल आल स्टेप वैज इट्स ओवर ओन बेस्ड ऑन दोज टापिक टूडे वी विल लर्न द एक्सइज प्रॉब्लम फस्ट बीट इन दिस बीट फाइव प्रॉब्लम देर ओनली वन बै वन टूडे वी विल लर्न इट ओन फस्ट वन वन थौज एटी नाइन Second is two thousand three not four, and uh, third one is seven thousand seven forty four. Fourth one six thousand eighty four. Fifth one nine thousand twenty five. These all are all are the numbers. How to find the square root of the numbers by using the division method only. Be carefully listen better neatly. First one. First, this this number is give. How to find out the square root of the number? First, given data. You have to write it in your given problem. The number is give. Look at the notebook. Be careful. Listen better well neatly. Are you understood of the previous class, Gagan sir? Are you any doubt? No doubt. So let's start the, the today class. Be carefully listen, but neatly look at the notebook. Uh, the number is give. The number is give. That number was the number one thousand eighty nine. To find. To find. The square root of the following number. The square root. You have to find out this one only. You don't know this one. Square root of the number. Okay. Next, write the solution. Get the solution for this problem. Step wise, today we will learn it. Learn it only. First step one. First step pairs of the digits. Step one is the pairs of the digits. Group the digits in pairs. Starting with the digit in the ones place, put a bar over each player. So first one, first step one is pair of the digits. Okay, pair of the digits. Ones place. It is that this is the given number only. So eighty-nine. Put the bar over each pair. Place a bar on each pair. That is the first step one. Next step two. Find the divisor and the quotient. Find the divisor. And and the quotient. How will you find out the divisor and the quotient? First, the largest number whose square is equal to the or less than the first pair. This is the first pair, and this is the second pair. So. 
the number will be the divisor and the quotient only. First, whose square? This one. Ten eighty nine. This is the first first period. Whose square is equal or less than the first pair only? So, do you know the squares? Go and say all are the squares one to hundred. So we know that only two square equal to four, three square equal to nine, four square equal to. Sixteen. After two hundred, we all know already. No only. Already learned. So, yeah, which one is suitable square? This is the first pair only. Ah, uh, four square is sixteen. Sixteen is the biggest number. Ten is short a number, smallest number. So, ah, uh, four is also less than only. So. This is the three square equal to nine. This is how to choose this one only. Three square. We should take this one. Three into three. Nine only. Okay. Next. This is the divisor. This is the quotient. Carry out, carry out the division. We get the remainder. Ten minus nine, one. This is the remainder. Are you understood, Gagan Sai? What's the divisor? What's the quotient? Are you understood? What's the remainder? Are you understood? How to calculate the divisor and quotient? Are you understood? Yeah, first, the largest number whose square is less than the first pair only. This is the first pair of the number. So, squares. We write it the squares. Uh, to write it all are the squares. And uh, uh, suitable square. Uh, how to choose? And uh, next subtracting of these two, we will get the remainder only. That is the step two. It's over. Next step three. Write the next divider. Write the next divider. Bring, bring down the next pair. This is the next pair. Eighty nine. You have to write the right side of the remainder. This will be the new divider only. This is the next pair is this one only. Are you clear? Can say this is the new divider. Next, are you clear? Next is the find the new divisor. Find the new divisor. How will you find out the new divisor? Double the quotient. Double the quotient. Double the means three. Three double is six only. Write the empty box. You write it on the right side of the this one only. Six right side of this one. This will be the new divisor. Okay, are you clear? Can answer it. This is new divisor only. Double the quotient and write the empty box. You write it on the right side of the divisor. That is the new divisor. The new divisor will be come. Next, another is the find the new quotient. How will you find out the new quotient? Select the largest digits for the blanks such that the product of the new divisor, new 
new division and the select digit is less than or equal to the new divided. Guess the digits to fill the box. Okay, in such way that the product of the new divisor and the digit is equal or less than the new divided. New divided is this one, 189. Guess the digits. How many possible digits of the product of the new divisor? Okay, this is the last digits. This is the new divided only. New divided last digits is 9 only. So, how many possible digits? At 2 to the 4, that is not possible digits. It is 4 only. Here I want that uh, unit digit place of the new divided is 9 only. So, it is not possible. So, 3. 3, 3 ja, 9. This is possible only. Okay. 3, 3 ja, 9. So, 63 into 3. 3, 3 ja, 9. 3, 6 ja, 18. So, this the new divided and this number. We will get this one only. This, this both are is it equal? Yes, is it equal only. So, possible digits is 3. Guess the, select this one only. 3. How to write the box in uh, 3? Here it is and quotient is also 3. We write it the 3. 63 into 3. We will get this one. 189. Subtracting of these two, we will get this 0. Okay, are you clear? How will you find out the coefficient? Are you clear, Gaganshai? The Guess the uh, digits to fill the box. The product of the new divisor. New divisor product. And the digit is equal or less than the new divided. Equal or less than the new divider. That is the this one. Coefficient. Are you clear? 63 into 3 equal to 0 only. Next, sixth step. Carry out the division, we get the remainder. Carry out the division. And uh, we get the remainder. Here it is the remainder is 0. If the remainder is 0, then the number is, if the given number is perfect square. If the remainder is not 0, then the given number is not a perfect square. So, if in the division method, if the remainder is 0. So, that's why, therefore, the given number is perfect square. Therefore, the given number is perfect square therefore root of 1089 equal to finally you can say that one finally the coefficient this coefficient is the square root of the number only so what's the coefficient coefficient is 33 this is the square root of the given number Equal 33 answer. Final answer. This is one. Are you clear? Gagansan neatly. How will you calculate the square root of the number by using the division method? Stepwise, are you understood? Mm. Yeah. Next, we will go to the second one only. 2304. Step 1. First given data, how to write it? Same only. Same only. This is the number is given and uh, to find the all or that uh, all or the numbers up to uh, five problems is same only. Given and to find is the same. All are asked the question is that the square root of the given number only. All are that but don't write it that two steps but don't write it here. Here it is. Mm, we write the solution. First we write the solution. Step 1. 2000. 3 not 4. First step is the pair of the digits. Put the bars on each pair. 
नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू स्टेप टू इज फर्स्ट लार्जेस्ट नंबर वूज स्क्वेयर इज लेस दैन आर इक्वल टू द फर्स्ट फेयर ऑफ दिस वन ओनली फर्स्ट फेयर वॉट्स द फर्स्ट फेयर ट्वेंटी थ्री स्क्वेयर्स यू राइट इट फर्स्ट स्क्वेयर्स स्क्वेयर्स फोर फोर जा फोर स्क्वेयर फोर फोर स्क्वेयर इक्वल फोर फोर जा सिक्सटीन फाइव स्क्वेयर फाइव स्क्वेयर इज कॉल्ड फाइव फाइव जा ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इज बिगर ओनली नेक्स्ट थ्री स्क्वेयर इक्वल थ्री थ्री जा नाइन सो वी शुड टेक दिस वन ओनली ओके फोर स्क्वेयर इक्वल सिक्सटीन ओनली दिस इज द लेस दैन ऑफ द फर्स्ट फेयर ऑफ द गिवेन नंबर सो वी चूज दिस वन ओनली फोर फोर जा सिक्सटीन this is the divisor and this is the quotient by carry out the division and we get the remainder only by subtracting of these two terms borrowing of 13 13 minus 6 7 okay next find the divisor and the quotient This is the divisor and this is the quotient. It's for next to write the new divider. New divider is bring down the next pair. What's the pair? Zero of the given number. Uh, next pair of the given number is zero four. Re uh, how to write it in the right side of the remainder? This is the new divider only. Next step: find the new divisor. That one is the fourth step. Double the quotient. Here it is. The quotient is four. So double the quotient. Four is double is eight only. Eight. You have to write it in the empty box. Write a box on the right side of divisor only. This is the new divisor. Next. This is the new divider. New divider lost digit is four only. Next step is. Find the quotient. How many possible digits? You write it to fill the box. You write it in the box. How many possible digits are less than or equal to the new divided only? So here it is the four. Two two ja four. This is possible digits. Why? Because you are both are the unit digit is same only. So possible. Three is it possible? Again, say tell me the answer. Yes. Three is it possible? No. No. It is not, not possible. Possible. So six four four is also yes. not possible. Sixteen only. So that is also not possible. So eight eight into eight eight into eight is sixty four. So last unit digits is both are the same only. So it is possible only. So how many cases are uh, here? It is possible digits two only two two ja and eight eight. I write it in the empty box. Eight. Eighteen to eighty-two into two, two two ja four, two eight ja sixteen. This is the less than number only. So another one, eight, eighty eight into eight. So eight eight ja sixty-four, eight eight ja sixty-four, sixty-four plus six, seventy. So which one is? We choose the second side. This one we choose. This is the equal. Both are that new divided and this number is equal only. Empty box. We write. How to write it? Eight only. And quotient is also how to write eight. Eighty-eight into eight. So we will get this the this one seven not four. So sub carry out the division. We get the remainder is zero. By subtracting, the remainder is zero. Are you clear, Gagan Sai? This is the quotient. So final answer. What's the final answer? If the remainder is zero, the given number is it um, perfect square or not? Yes, perfect yes. square. Why? Because the remainder is zero. So that's why. Therefore, the given number is perfect square. Zero four. Is जी फर्फेक्ट स्क्वयर सो
Why? Because remainder equals zero. So it is a perfect. If the given number is perfect square only. So root of two thousand three not four equal to what's the correct coefficient is the square root of the given number only. So this is the forty eight square root of the given number. Is forty eight. This is the final answer. Are you clear, Gagan Sir? Neatly. Are you understood? If you any doubt, you ask me. And next, we will go to the third one. Third one is seven thousand seven forty four. This is the given number. And next, to find how to find out the square root of the given number. First step one. Pairs of the digits. Put the bars on the each pair only. Step one. Next step two. Largest number whose square is less than or equal to the first pair of the number. First pair. What's the first pair of the given number is seventy seven. So first you have to write it. The all are the squares only. Here it is eighty eight square. Eight square is sixty four. Next, nine square is eighty one. Seven square is forty nine. Okay, nine square is big only. So we choose this one only. Eight square equals sixty four. Okay, we should take this one only. Eight into eight called sixty four. Carry out the division. We will get the remainder only. This is the divisor, and this is the quotient, and this is the remainder only. Subtracting of these two only. Carry out the division. We get the remainder only. So seven minus four is three, and seven minus six is one. Next step. Divisor and quotient uh, is over, and next to write the Next new divided only. Yeah, ne new divided means how will it come? This one only. Bring down of the next pair of the given number. What's the uh, next pair? Forty four. How to write it in the right side of the remainder? This is will be the new divided only. Okay. Next write the New divisor. How will you write the new divisor? Double the quotient. So eight is double is six eight to just sixteen only. How to write it? The empty box right side up the number. Next, guess the possible digits. So how many possible digits? Are less than or equal this one only new divided. Your last digit unit digit is four only. So four is two two ja four. So one is possible digits and eight also eight eight ja sixty four. These two are possible digits. Okay. So all uh, you write it one by one. You write it uh, in the box empty box. How much of value? We will get it only one sixty two into two 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 ja four two six da twelve two one ja one plus three three twenty four. This is smallest number. Then comparing to the new divided of the number. So another digits. We should take this one only. Another digit is one sixty eight into eight. So how much of value we will get it? Eight eight ja sixty four. Eight six ja forty eight. Forty eight plus six. Eight plus six fourteen. So fifty four. So eight one ja eight. Eight plus five thirty. So, 
which number is uh, possible digits you can say which number is uh, um, are equal of the new divided this one only you choose this one we should take this eight only so you have to write it the eight in the new divisor and next coefficient is also eight so we will get the value equal to 1344 so last final step is carry out the division we get the remainder is zero both numbers are equal so remainder equal zero if the remainder equal zero then the given number is is it a perfect square is it a perfect square gagan say yes it is a perfect square only so therefore the given number given number is a perfect square Are you understood? You can say why because the remainder is zero. So that's why the given number is perfect square. Therefore, square root of the number equal to coefficient of this number. That one is eighty-eight. Final answer. We get the final answer is this one only eighty-eight. Square root of the given number equal to eighty-eight. That is the final answer. Next fourth one. And now given data. First given data. How to write it in our given problem? This is the one number is given. This number six thousand eighty four. To find how to find out the square root of the number. Next write the solution. The solution for this problem. Step one. Pairs of the digits. Step one: Put the bars, the bars on every pair. Next step two: This is the first pair of the given number. So largest numbers whose square is less than or equal to the first pair of the this one only. Sixty, sixty. How to write it? The all other squares. Six square is thirty six. Seven square is forty nine. Eight square is sixty four. So, which one is selected here? It is Gagan say which square is selected. Sixty four is bigger. So seven square. We should take this one only. Okay, we choose this one. Seven into seven. Seven square. Then comparing of the first pair of the given number, uh, which one is? This is the less than only less than of this number. So we choose this one. Seven seven jaw forty nine. Carry out the division. We get the remainder only. Okay, by subtracting of these two terms, borrowing of ten. Ten minus nine one. Next here it is one is borrowing is over and remaining is five five minus four one okay this is the remainder this is the divisor this is the four is and only next next step new divisor find the new divisor how will you find out the new divisor double the four is and so seven Seven is double is fourteen. Next, uh, how to write it? The empty box. Okay, double the coefficient and write the empty box. Right side of the number only. This is the new divisor. Next, bring down the next pair of the given number. That one is eighty-four. This is the new divided. Next, any possible digits to fill the empty box. So first, yeah, this one only. Last digits of the new divided is four only. So this is the possible digits is two two ja four. This is a one possible digits and eight is also possible digits eight eight ja 
64 this is also possible digits two digits are possible digits are less than or equal to the new divided so 142 into 2 how much of value we will get it 2 2 ja 4 2 4 ja 8 2 2 1 2 only so this is the less than only so next digits we have to write it the next digit is 8 only 148 into 8 okay are you clear again sai product of the new divisor the digit is equal or less than the new divided new divided is this one only 1184 so 88 ja 64 84 ja 32 32 plus 6 38 Next eight one ja eight eight plus three eleven. So your both numbers are equal only. So uh, which digits is uh, guess we choose it this one only. Selected this digit only. So how to write it this one only? Eight into eight one forty eight into eight. We will get this number. What's the number? One thousand eighty four. Next last step, the sixth step, carry out the division, and we get the remainder is zero. So, if the remainder is zero, then the given number is, is it a perfect square? Yes, the given number is perfect square. Given, therefore, the given number is a perfect square. Why? Because remainder is zero. No fears. left only of the given number so that's why in the given number is perfect square therefore the square root of the given number 6084 square root of the given number equal to 78 quotient is the square root ओके आर यू क्लियर का गंस आई नीड टू लीव फाइनल आंसर इज द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द गिवन नंबर इक्वल 78 दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर यू गेट द फाइनल आंसर इट्स ओवर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इट्स ओवर नेक्स्ट वी विल गो टू द फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम इज 9025 गिवन एंड टू फाइंड इज द सेम स्टेप्स ओनली नेक्स्ट वी राइट द सॉल्यूशन लेट द सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम First step: pair up the digits. Put the bars on the each pair. This is the first step. And next step: this is the first pair of the given number. So, what's the largest number whose pair is less than or equal to the first pair only? Eight is square equal sixty four. First, you have to write the all other squares only. Nine square equal to eighty-one. Ten square is hundred only. So that that is the biggest one. Okay, how to choose this one? Nine square only. Why? Because can this is the less less than of the first pair of the given number only. So we have to choose this one only. Nine square only. Okay, eight square is smaller only. Ten square is bigger. We should take this one only. What's the nine? Nine into nine. So eighty one. Next, carry out the division, and we get the one two five. In this bit, one two five problems. All are the same models only. All are the steps is also one two six. All are the steps is also same. Okay. Same procedure. Every each and every problem is do it the same procedure only. Your nine nine ja eighty one. Carry out the division. We get the remainder only. So borrowing of ten ten minus one nine. This is the remainder only. Next bring down the next pair of the given number. That one is twenty five. You have to write it in the right side of the remainder only. 
that is the new divided this is the divisor and this is the coefficient this is the new divided next uh, how to find the new divisor how uh, will you find out the new divisor double the coefficient 9 is double is 18 next write a empty box right side of the number next guess the possible digits so how many possible digits uh, less than or equal to the new divisor this is the last digit is 5 only uh, first uh, 2 2 ja 4 that is not 2 is not possible digits next 3 3 is also not possible digits so 5 5 5 ja 25 this is possible digits you have to write it in the empty box 5 only so 185 into 5 so 5 5 ja 25 5 8 ja 40 40 plus 2 42 next 5 1 5 5 plus 4 9 9 25 so only single digit so this digit is possible only so how to write it the digit in, in our empty box 5 185 and coefficient is also you have to write it only 185 into 5 we will get this number only that number is equal both are that equal only so last final step carry out the division and we get the remainder is 0 only so is it a, if the given number is it a perfect square or not tell me the answer yes perfect square yes perfect square only so given number therefore the given number 9025 is a perfect square why because remainder is zero perfect square therefore the square root how to find out the square root of the given number 9025 equal to coefficient of the square root of the given number only so what's the coefficient 95 this is the square root of the given number this is the final answer Therefore, the given number equal 95. That is the final answer. It's over. All are the 1, 2, 5 problems. First bit solutions is over. Are you clear? Are you understood the answer neatly? All are the same models only. First bit all problems is over. Next we will go to the second bit only. I read the problem in our textbook only. Second bit two. Find the square root of the following decimal numbers. In this bit 1, 2, 4 problems. You yeah, have four problems is given. The is or is the decimal numbers is give. How to find out the square root of the decimal numbers only. Here yeah, first one by one I read it only. 2.56. Next second one 18.49. Next third one is 68.89. And fourth one is 84.64. This is the all are the decimal numbers. So how to find out the square root? That is the asked question. Are you clear, Gagarsa, neatly? All are the decimal numbers. Is it this or is also one to four problems? Is also same models only. All are the same models. And steps is also above first bit to all problems. All are the steps is also same steps only. Okay. First this one only one number is give given data how to write it in your given problem all are the problems one to four problems given data is same only but the numbers is different so asked question is also same all are the square root of the decimal numbers only so only one how to write it only first problem only what's that the number is give The number is give that one is the 2.56. Look at that notebook, Gagan Sai. Be careful, it is okay. better to find. To find how to find out the square root of the decimal number. The square root.
डेसिमल नंबर ओके ऑल आर दट ऑल आर द प्रॉब्लम्स इज द एक बहुत टू स्टेप इज सेम बट योर नंबर इज डिफरेंट सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप वन राइट द सोल्यूशन फाइनल स्टेप इज फाइनल आंसर ओनली फर्स्ट दैट इज सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेप वन स्टेप वन इज द सेम स्टेप ओनली फेर ऑफ द डिजिट्स या दिस वन फर्स्ट फुट द बॉर्स ऑन द each pair 2.56 this is the unit digits this is the tenth digits this is the decimal part this is the integral part that is the very important what is the integral part what is the decimal part this is the integral part and this is the decimal part only decimal part is short form d dot p and uh, integral part is um, uh, short form is i dot p this is the put the bars and each pair only okay next step 2 step 2 is the find the divisor and the coefficient only but don't write it that one only same steps uh, previous problem first bit previous problem those all are steps so here, here it is also by using that above steps only step 2 find the divisor and the coefficient first uh, this one only first pair of the yeah, integral part what's the pair here it is the only single digits only single digits first uh, uh, how to write it the all are the squares only so one square equal to one two square equal four but your two square is not possible only why because here it is that uh, here, here it is the integral part of the number single digit is only two only so it is bigger only then comparing of the, these two if this one is the bigger only two square is bigger only so that's why we choose this one only which square is uh, we how to choose this one we should take this one only uh, okay so how to choose this one only one square one into one so this is the new this is the divisor and this is the coefficient so one into one one carry out the division we get the remainder only so 2 minus 1 is 1 next step write the new divider how to write the new divider bring down the next pair of the number this is the decimal part of the number so put the point here it is this is the decimal part of the number so uh, bring down the next pair of the uh, digits and uh, how to write it in the right side of the remainder only put the decimal point in the what's the coefficient only okay next find the new divisor how will you find out the new divisor double the coefficient double the coefficient one is double is two only and write the empty box right side the divisor this is the new divisor this is the new divided next next step is what's the step find the new coefficient how will you find out the new coefficient new coefficient is guess the possible digits how many possible digits to fill the box the product of the new divisor and the digit is are equal to the or less than or equal to the new divided the unit digit is 6 only so 6 possible digits you have to write it again say how many possible digits 3 3 are 9 that is not possible digit so 6 6 36 6. this is the possible digits only so how to write it this 6 only so in our empty box 26 into 6 okay so multiplication of these two terms how much of value will come 6 6 36 6 2 are 12 12 plus 3 15 mm -hmm. 
सो ईज इट पासीबल ईज इट ईज इट ईक्वल का कनस कंपेरी आफ दट न्यू डिवेडेड बोत आर ईज इट ईक्वल एस ईज इट ईक्वल ओनली सो विच विच डिजिट ईज टू फिल द ब्लॉक विच डिजिट चूज सिक्स वि चूज द सिक्स ओनली सो वी हाव टू रईट इट दिक्स टू फिल द बॉक्स एंड क्वेश्चन इज आलो सिक्स so carry out carry out the division we will get the remainder is zero because both numbers is the same so um, remainder is zero is the given number is it a perfect square or not yes therefore the given number is a perfect square final sixth step is if the remainder is zero so that's why The given number is a perfect square. Why? Because remainder equals zero. So therefore, square root of the given number is the square root two point five six equal to one point six. Coefficient of the Number is the square root of the given number. This is the final answer only. Okay. okay. Are you clear, Gagan? This is yeah. the solution for this first problem. Solution is over. All are the remaining problems. Second, second to four four problems is the same procedure only. Same process. By all are the same models. Yeah. Second one. Eighteen point four nine. Step one. First write the solutions only. Step one. Put the bars. On each pair, integral part, and this is the decimal part only. Next, find the divisor and the coefficient. So, how will you find out the divisor and coefficient? Largest number, whose square is less than or equal to the first pair of that integral part. Integral part to the first pair is the. This is the tenth place. This is the in its place only, eighteen only. So how to write it? The all are the squares. Four square is sixteen. Five square is twenty-five. So five square is bigger only. We say this is not possible only. Next, yeah, four square is is it possible only? Okay. We how to choose this one only? Four square equal sixteen. So we should take this one four four ja sixteen because this is the comparing of the first pair of the integral part comparing so this is the less than of this uh, first pair of the integral part of the given number so I select this one only so carry out the division we get the remainder is remainder. Is the remainder eighteen minus by subtracting of these two terms eighteen minus sixteen is two only. Okay, this is the remainder only. Next, find the new divided. Bring down the next pair of the the given number only. That is the decimal part of the given number forty nine. So put the point in the coefficient. Next, find the new Divisor. How will you find out the new divisor is double the coefficient. Four is double is eight. Write the empty box. The right side of the number. Next, guess the possible is how many possible digits to fill the box. And this is that one. Last digit of that new divided. So three, three is three into three. This is the one possible digits. Okay. Yeah, first uh, this is okay. Next, uh, you have to write it this uh, number. Gaga, so eighty-three into three. So three three ja nine. Three eight ja twenty-four. So this is these are both are comparing of these two. These two numbers both are is it equal only? So we choose. This one. Guess the possible digit is 
3 only. So we have to write it the possible digits in our empty box and quotient is also we have to write it. So what's the 83 into 3? We will get the 249. Next final step is carry out the division. Sixth step carry out the division. You get the remainder is 0. So the given number. What's the given number? Therefore, is it the given number? Is it perfect square or not? Tell me the answer, Gagan say. So, if remainder equal to zero, then the then the given number given number is perfect square. Therefore, square root. How to find out the square root of the given number? Eighteen. 0.49 square root equal quotient of the number so that is the final answer 4.3 this is the square root of the given number this is the final answer only this is the solution it's over second problem solution is over and next we will go to the third problem only. first write the solution put the bars on each page integral part and decimal part and next step 2 find the divisor and the coefficient this is the first pair integral part largest number whose square is less than or equal to the first pair of that this integral part only so 80 square equal 64 you have to write it all all the square soon so 9 square equal to 81 so comparing the gagan side which one is the 9 square is bigger only so 80 square is it's an apple so we should take this one only. okay how to choose this one so 8 into 8 8 square 8 square 8 into 8 is 64 8 8 jaw 64. This is the divisor, coefficient, remainder. By carry out the division, we get the remainder. 68 minus 64. 8 minus 4. By subtracting up these two terms, how much of value we will get it? 8 minus 4 is 4. So, this is the remainder. Next, write the new divided. New divided is bring down the next pair of the given number. What's the next pair? 89. So, this is number is decimal power. So, for the decimal point in the coefficient. This is the new divided. Next, find the new divisor. How will you find out the new divisor? 8 is double. 16. So, write the empty box the right side of the number so next guess the possible digits how many possible digits are less than or equal to this one new divided 9 unit digit is 9 so 3 into 3 9 this digit is so you have to write it in the empty box 163 into 3 3 3 is 9 3 6 the eight. 3 1 ja 1 plus 4 4 8 9 so possible digit is this one only so we have to write it the possible digits this one okay 3 3 is we have to write it in your empty box and quotient is also write it so 163 into 3 we will get this one 4 8 9 Subtracting of these two terms, we will get the remainder is 0. Carry out the division and, rem and get the remainder is 0. So, therefore, the given number, what's the given number? Is it a perfect square or not, Gagan say? Is a perfect square. Are you clear? Is a perfect square. So, therefore, what is asked in the given problem? 
find the square root of the of the given number equal coefficient of the square root this one this is the final answer are you clear gagansa neatly this is the, it's over this is the third problem solution is over and next we will go to the fourth problem here first write the solution let the solution for this problem step 1 put the bars on each page integral part and this is the decimal part next find the divisor and the coefficient first pair of the integral part of the number what's the 84 so how to write it all are the squares 80 square equal 64 9 square equal 81 10 square equal bigger one so this one we have to choose this one which one 9 square one so 9 into 9 80 1 this is the divisor this is the coefficient and we will get the remainder subtracting of these two we will get the remainder only 84 minus 1 3 next write the new divided bring down the next pair of the next pair of the given number only so this is the decimal part so put the point the coefficient next this is the new divided next find the new divisor new divisor how will you find out the new divisor double the coefficient so 18 9 is double 18 write the empty box right side of the number next guess the possible digits how many possible digits to fill the box less than or equal to the new divided here it is the fourth so 2 to job 4 One is possible digits and eight is also possible digits. Eight is a sixty-four. These two possible digits. So one by one, I have to write it in very empty box. One eighty-two into two. Two two is a four. Two eight is a sixteen. Two one is a one plus three. Three sixty-four. This is the possible digits. Is which one? In these two. case of digits which one is selected 2 in 2 2 is selected only why because result is both result is equal only so how to write it the empty box 2 and coefficient is also 2 so 182 in 2 2 we will get the 3 64 So by carrying out the division, we will get the remainder is zero. Given number is it a perfect square or not? Gagan sir, tell me the answer. Final step, sixth step, Gagan sir. Perfect square. The given number is perfect square. And finally, you can say that therefore the the given number. Square root of the given number equal nine point two. This is the final answer. It's over. Are you clear? Yeah. This is the one to four problems. It's over. Second uh, second bit. All are the same models of the problems and solutions. It's over only.